Hello, everyone. Have you ever had trouble sleeping? In this episode, Mia will share her experience with you. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. Listen carefully. Hi, my name is Mia. I'm a college student, and tonight I just can't sleep. Tomorrow I have a big test. And the thought of it keeps me tossing and turning in bed. I try to close my eyes and count sheep like my mom always tells me to do when I can't sleep. But it's not working. My mind keeps racing with all the things I need to remember for the test. I wish I could just fall asleep and wake up feeling refreshed and ready to ace it. I made a warm cup of milk with a bit of honey, hoping it would make me sleepy, but it didn't. Then I tried reading my favorite book, but even that didn't make me tired. I glance at the clock on my bedside table, and it's already past midnight. I know I should be sleeping by now, but I just can't seem to relax. I keep going over my notes in my head, trying to memorize every detail. The silence of the night makes it even harder to fall asleep. Every little sound seems louder. From the ticking of the clock to the creaking of the floorboards, I feel like I'm the only one awake in the whole world. I try to distract myself by thinking about something else. Like what I'll do after the test, or what I want for breakfast tomorrow. But no matter what I do, the test keeps creeping back into my thoughts. I toss and turn in bed, trying to find a comfortable position, but nothing seems to work. I feel exhausted, but my mind just won't shut off. Finally, as the first light of dawn starts to peek through my window, I realize that I haven't slept at all. I know it's going to be a long day, but I try to stay positive and tell myself that I've studied hard and done my best to prepare for the test. As I get ready, I'll just have to rely on coffee to get me through the day. Wish me luck. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Racing thoughts means thoughts that move quickly and uncontrollably. Example: When I'm anxious, my mind gets filled with racing thoughts. Memorize means to learn something by heart. Example. I need to memorize my lines for the play before the rehearsal tomorrow. Toss and turn means to move around restlessly in bed. Example: Last night I tossed and turned for hours before finally falling asleep. Shut off means to stop functioning or working. Example: The computer shut off suddenly, and I lost all my unsaved work. Peeking through means to appear gradually or partially. Example: The sun was peeking through the clouds, promising a nicer day ahead. Adrenaline. Means a hormone that increases energy and alertness. Example: I could feel my adrenaline pumping as I prepared to give a speech in front of a large audience. Exhausted means very tired or fatigued. Example: After a long day of hiking, I felt completely exhausted and ready for bed. Distract means to divert someone's attention from something. Example: The noise outside distracted me from my homework, making it hard to concentrate.
All right, it's time to speaking practice. Repeat after Mia. Hi, my name is Mia. Hi, my name is Mia. I'm a college student. I'm a college student. And tonight I just can't sleep. And tonight I just can't sleep. Tomorrow I have a big test. Tomorrow I have a big test. And the thought of it keeps me tossing and turning in bed. And the thought of it keeps me tossing and turning in bed. I try to close my eyes. I try to close my eyes. And count sheep like my mom always tells me to do. And count sheep like my mom always tells me to do. When I can't sleep. When I can't sleep. But it's not working. But it's not working. My mind keeps racing. My mind keeps racing with all the things I need to remember for the test. With all the things I need to remember for the test. I wish I could just fall asleep. I wish I could just fall asleep and wake up feeling refreshed and ready to ace it. Then wake up feeling refreshed and ready to ace it. I made a warm cup of milk with a bit of honey. I made a warm cup of milk with a bit of honey. Hoping it would make me sleepy, but it didn't. Hoping it would make me sleepy, but it didn't. Then I tried reading my favorite book. Then I tried reading my favorite book. But even that didn't make me tired. But even that didn't make me tired. I glance at the clock on my bedside table. I glance at the clock on my bedside table. And it's already past midnight. And it's already past midnight. I know I should be sleeping by now. I know I should be sleeping by now. But I just can't seem to relax. But I just can't seem to relax. I keep going over my notes in my head. I keep going over my notes in my head. Trying to memorize every detail. Trying to memorize every detail. The silence of the night makes it even harder to fall asleep.
The silence of the night makes it even harder to fall asleep. Every little sound seems louder. Every little sound seems louder. From the ticking of the clock, from the ticking of the clock, to the creaking of the floorboards, to the creaking of the floorboards. I feel like I'm the only one awake in the whole world. I feel like I'm the only one awake in the whole world. I try to distract myself. I try to distract myself by thinking about something else. By thinking about something else. Like what I'll do after the test. Like what I'll do after the test. Or what I want for breakfast tomorrow. Or what I want for breakfast tomorrow. But no matter what I do, But no matter what I do, the test keeps creeping back into my thoughts. The test keeps creeping back into my thoughts. I toss and turn in bed. I toss and turn in bed. Trying to find a comfortable position. Trying to find a comfortable position. But nothing seems to work. But nothing seems to work. I feel exhausted, but my mind just won't shut off. I feel exhausted, but my mind just won't shut off. Finally, as the first light of dawns, finally, as the first light of dawns starts to peek through my window, starts to peek through my window. I realize that I haven't slept at all. I realize that I haven't slept at all. I know it's going to be a long day. I know it's going to be a long day. But I try to stay positive. But I try to stay positive. And tell myself that I've studied hard. And tell myself that I've studied hard. And done my best to prepare for the test. And done my best to prepare for the test. As I get ready. As I get ready. I'll just have to rely on coffee. I'll just have to rely on coffee to get me through the day. To get me through the day. Wish me luck. Wish me luck.
All right, let's listen to the story one more time. Hi, my name is Mia. I'm a college student, and tonight I just can't sleep. Tomorrow I have a big test, and the thought of it keeps me tossing and turning in bed. I try to close my eyes and count sheep like my mom always tells me to do when I can't sleep. But it's not working. My mind keeps racing with all the things I need to remember for the test. I wish I could just fall asleep and wake up feeling refreshed and ready to ace it. I made a warm cup of milk with a bit of honey, hoping it would make me sleepy, but it didn't. Then I tried reading my favorite book, but even that didn't make me tired. I glance at the clock on my bedside table, and it's already past midnight. I know I should be sleeping by now, but I just can't seem to relax. I keep going over my notes in my head, trying to memorize every detail. The silence of the night makes it even harder to fall asleep. Every little sound seems louder. From the ticking of the clock to the creaking of the floorboards, I feel like I'm the only one awake in the whole world. I try to distract myself by thinking about something else, like what I'll do after the test or what I want for breakfast tomorrow. But no matter what I do, the test keeps creeping back into my thoughts. I toss and turn in bed, trying to find a comfortable position, but nothing seems to work. I feel exhausted, but my mind just won't shut off. Finally, as the first light of dawn starts to peek through my window, I realize that I haven't slept at all. I know it's going to be a long day. But I try to stay positive and tell myself that I've studied hard and done my best to prepare for the test. As I get ready, I'll just have to rely on coffee to get me through the day. Good job today. Keep it up. Every lesson helps you get better at English. We're excited to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Keep learning and see you soon.